Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're asking the question who wants to be a millionaire? It's me. Hand over the money. <laughs> this game is also trying to mug someone. <laughs> it's 30 euros for what looks like the most lazy game I think I've ever seen. Even the trailer looks so lazy. <laughs> the reviews are all just horrible as well. <laughs> this game installed malware on my computer I think. <laughs> I think the game might be malware to be fair. Today I learned that the bombing of Pearl Harbor happened in the year 987. <laughs> oh man, the hosting contestants are so robotic, it's insane. But you know what? I think this puts me in a unique position. As someone who used to watch this show a lot as a kid, yeah, I was that boring of a kid, and also a person who played a lot of really, really bad games, I'm in a unique position uh, to capitalize on this situation. All right, the game is already pissing me off. It's putting Ireland in the United Kingdom. <laughs> You've already angered this Irishman. I feel like I know more about like American culture than Britain. So let's uh, let's go with Italy. Let's go, Ica. You guys ready to play today? Wait, it's not even in Italian. <laughs> How am I supposed to play if it's not in Italian? Do my best and my best is the million pounds. Oh my God, that's my guy's voice. <laughs> Oh, I can see why it's so negatively reviewed. Wait, so if I picked Italian and you're talking in English, are the questions going to be in English or Italian? I'm a friend. That one is useless to me, I assure you. Ah, good, yes. Fantastic. <sighs> Goldilocks is looking pretty good. Oh, no, no, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I I'll walk, please. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll walk with the money. Thank you. The audience is just deadly silent. They didn't know what to do. They're just like, he just walked with zero euros. But obviously they said it in Italian. All right, you know what? I think I'd rather play this in English if I can ever get back to that menu. All right, let's try United States, shall we? Shop. What? Don't tell me there's microtransactions in this. Harry Potter. Honestly, looking at the categories, I don't really fancy my chances here. I don't know much about any of these. Maybe except for language. I'm quite fluent in Italian now. All right, Ruben, you're done. I don't like your voice. I'm going to be Margaret. She's a passion for mini golf and her age is the funny number. <laughs> He's got stage fright. He doesn't know what to say. He just kind of did stuff with his hands. Are you ready for this new question? Yes. <laughs> Final answer. Which of these is a type of dancing? <laughs> I thought that said struggling. <laughs> it's like, well, in my case, yes. Line dancing, I'm pretty sure. I'm too stressed out. What? I have to calm down. Margaret, shut up. You're distracting me. Margaret is still pretty resourceful. You see? All right, Margaret, you're a hundred bucks up. Don't get feckin' too cocky now. Which of these is a small hole dug by a soldier? A foxhole, I believe. You have have given your final answer. Now is the time to see the right. They're really dragging it out, aren't they? They don't want to give away money. <laughs> the next people are actually intelligent, so he keeps <laughs> just dragging it out like, that your final answer? Okay. If that's your final answer, let's lock that in as your final answer. Do not pass go, do not collect 200 our instructions associated with which game. I don't have a clue. Not a monopoly. See. Margaret, the Italian part is over. <laughs> Stop trying to speak Italian. I'm too stressed out. I have to calm down. Margaret, relax. You got, what, 500 bucks here or something? It's not the end of the world. Okay. Wait, hold on. I wasn't ready. Um, geology is rocks. Ge genealogy, I think. Oh, my God. Are you locked in? I Margaret, please communicate with me. I'm your teammate. Of course. Oh, thank God I'm right. I didn't realize the question had already started. <laughs> oh, this is stressful. <laughs> I have to calm down. Oh, my God. How many states begin with the letter T? Is there any? Oh, Texas. <laughs> Texas. Um, Toklahoma. Uh, to, to York. Uh, California. Um, it's only Texas, isn't it? I think just one. Is that your final? Yeah, I think I'm right. It's only one. That's what? What's the other one? Tennessee. Still could have been worse. Shut up, Margaret. We got no money at all. <laughs> How sad. Don't taunt us. Again, the crowd is just awkward. They saw this little old lady <laughs> just lose all of her money. What is it then? There's Texas and... <laughs> What else? I'm so confused. And I'm like not going to Google this. I got to figure this out on my own. It'll build character. I am so stumped. U.S. states beginning with T. Is it California? There's someone out there from the other mystery state <laughs> screaming at the screen right now. <laughs> I cannot figure it out. Look, na name a county beginning with T in Ireland. How about that? Is there a county beginning with T? County Texas. Um... <laughs> 
And I don't know if there is one. Look, this is a big tea rabbit hole we're going down. <laughs> but what is the state? I don't understand. I'm trying to think of all the weird ones that you never even bring up, like... Utah. <laughs> that, like, never comes up. Ah. <laughs> I have to Google it. I don't, and I'm going to be so angry because I know I know this. Is it Tennessee? It's Tennessee. Oh, oh. No one could have tennis saw that one coming. Don't worry, Margaret. You're the only 10 I see, and we're going to win this thing. And then we're going to play mini golf. One million rounds of mini golf. <laughs> don't clap for me. You know I'm going to fail. Stop it. What sport is not played with a ball? Basketball. The ball in basketball is sarcasm. No, I'm going to go with badminton. So. No, no, don't lock in handball. What was that? They're both just sitting there in awkward silence, like, uh, not quite sure what you're doing here, Margaret. <laughs> Nervous laugh. <laughs> One question in. Which of these places does not have books? A bookstore. <laughs> okay, what are these questions? Do you just feel sorry for me? Like, a bookstore, a library, a multimedia library, a dance club. <laughs> what is at the center of our solar system? I put it on easy mode because it said it doesn't have a timer, but does that make the questions easier? Because I don't feel very smart, even though I'm getting all these right. Oh my god, that's a weird question. Okay, well, at least I know it. And boom. Oh my god, Margaret, you can't just say that. Jesus Christ, Margaret. The United States is divided into states. None of them beginning with T, by the way. I just thought I'd bring that up. Okay, now it's getting a bit harder. What is the capital of Mexico? I think it's Tijuana. Go, 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 Tijuana. Uh, Mexico City, I meant. Ah, well. <laughs> I just kind of want to go into the other mode anyway, because this this just feels condescending. <laughs> There's an online mode. Do you think anyone's actually playing this game? Challenge up to 99 opponents. I don't think even 99 people have bought this game. I can't believe I'm playing Battle Royale. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> All right, we'll start in 90 seconds. So far, it's looking good. I should win by default. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five more seconds for 99 people to join. I still have hope. Fingers crossed. I think it can happen. All right. No player found. Return to the main menu. <laughs> what were they thinking? Did they think there'd be thousands of players ready to queue up for who wants to be a millionaire battle royale? Well, you should have phoned a friend on that one because you were wrong. I'm going to try the international queue because it's basically United States and everywhere else. Not sure how that works, <laughs> given the fact that there's so many languages everywhere else, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I think there only be one of us anyway, so I think we can come to an agreement. No, nope, no one found. It. Okay, well, this was a good experiment. It determined that there's literally no one else in the world willing to play this game. <laughs> That's why you're lucky of me. What would you do without me? Probably be doing something more productive. Let's not go down that road. Let let's keep playing and watching. Haha, -ha, fun times together. <laughs> Maybe if I just get questions on mini golf. No, that's not a good idea. Margaret is not very good at anything, I think. I think I'll take someone else. Look, Pablo, retired tap dancer. Fantastic. We're back on standard difficulty, and Pablo and I are going to win. So far, our total winnings are $1,000 on what I think was a children's game mode, but I'll still take it. <laughs> what word describes a school child who spends a lot of time studying? A SWAT, I think. It's been a while since I heard someone say SWAT. Jeez, that was a bit of a dark answer, wasn't it? <laughs> of course. Good job, Pablo. You got it right. Now tell us, why do you seem to know so much about school children? <laughs> Just put him on the spot. <laughs> Confetti is most associated with which event? Are we talking about The Sims? Because funeral could be accurate in this case. Jim Pickens puts the fun in funeral. What the hell is a hogmanay? Confetti. Like, I'm gonna say wedding, but like, I don't think that's true at all. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a wedding with confetti. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm correct, apparently. I've never seen a wedding with confetti. <laughs> Experienced contestants always win the day. All right, Pablo, stop boasting. We're 200 bucks up. <laughs> Pablo is way too confident. Margaret was more relatable. She was on the verge of a panic attack <laughs> every time a question came up. Chamomile tea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's tea. I'm going with that. I'm locking in. Yep, got it right. Perfect. Come on, Pablo. Let's speed run this thing. A what? A alleviation map? Comfort map? Relief map? Remedy map? Go with the biggest word, Pablo! <laughs> a relief map? What's a relief map? I think I need one right now. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Fucking Pablo. Oh, it's a 3D physical representation of terrain. Okay, actually, that is ringing a few bells now that I think about it. It was just the way they put it with the, the comfort map <laughs> and relief map and whatever the hell the other ones were. Cozy map, I don't know. It made me think of, like... 
physical therapy for some reason. I'm gonna need some regular therapy after this. All right, you know what? I'm gonna swap it to the UK side of things. Let's just hope I get a lot of uh, Irish questions since it is the United Kingdom after all. <laughs> all my Irish audience just left. <laughs> All right, Pablo, <laughs> he's gonna cross the pond to try over there instead. He didn't do too well in the States. Same host and all, that's crazy. Which part of these body parts does a dentist take care of? Teeth. Although looking at the United Kingdom, you wouldn't think that. Now, I, I don't know where that stereotype comes from, to be honest. I've found British people have just as good teeth as normal people. <laughs> With that, if I'm not the star of the family when I go back. Yeah, I'm sure the grandkids will be delighted that you know a dentist takes care of teeth. Good job, Pablo. Billy Corgan is known as the lead singer of what band? Oh no, I'm no good at this. Oh wait, hold on. If you say stuff like the Super Pumpkins, I think I know this one. Come on, Pablo, think. Relax, Pablo, come on. Right. He's getting a bit stressed. <laughs> Who's painting irises sold for then record? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh wait, hold on, Van Gogh. I need to look at all the other answers because I'm like, oh no, I don't know anything about art. But then I realize instead of Van Gogh, the other options were like Van Rental. <laughs> and which of these is gravy usually served? Isn't it a boat? Yep, boat. You see, back in my day, they used to bring all the gravy in by boat. Giant gravy boats the size of this very room are coming in from Europe. Achievement unlocked, a good start. <gasps> <laughs> Fantastic! Dig, spike, block, and dump are you... Uh, uh, volleyball! Yes! It is volleyball, right? Because, like, I just know spike is used in volleyball. I'm not sure about the rest. Can you take a dump during a volleyball game? And what will be your final answer? That'll be my final answer. That's a bit of a snarky response. <laughs> what will be your final answer? My final answer. You make it look easy. You got it. Thank you. I've taken a few dumps on a volleyball court in my day. <laughs> in which country is the port? Oh, no, I don't know this one at all. Um, India is the biggest by land mass, so I'm going to go with that. It gives me the most chance, right? Please, honestly, my kids say they'll, they'll disown me and put me in a home if I don't come home with some money. God damn it. <laughs> Look, just ask me questions about Ireland, but only like the south of Ireland, specifically Cork. Then I, then I might manage. You've lost everything down to your safety net. It's gut-wrenching, isn't it? That's not very comforting. I'm this old dude, you're, and you're just berating me on front of this audience that's just staring. Wait a second. I thought I'd only have to get to like a thousand pounds twice more to get the Harry Potter pack. A thousand pounds gets me 40 points. I need 4,500 to get the Harry Potter pack. I'm trying to go into the files to edit my, my points and I just see VR enabled. Why the hell would you want VR in this? Change that to yes. I'm ready. What? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> What's the point in the text if it doesn't do anything? All right, back to the States. I'm confident we can win this. You know why? Because I'm going to use my lifelines for once. I'm going to win the million to unlock the Harry Potter pack. I'm almost there. <laughs> he looks a bit pissed off. Maybe I should change person. He's like, we started in the States. You flew me to the UK. Now we're going back to the States. My lumbago hurts. All right, Georges, I'm going to go with you. You know why? Your profession is caregiver. And I could use a little care right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's his intro, just a long um. In the Bible, who killed Abel? I confess, it was me. <laughs> I know it was Cain, but I just can't resist. <laughs> I had to come clean, my conscience. If another opportunity comes up to incriminate myself, I'm still taking it. It'd be a good way of getting a confession, wouldn't it? Last question, to get to a million. Keep them all easy, and the very last one, just... Did you kill him? Which of these plants is traditionally associated with Christmas? I almost said missile foot. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to lose. Uh, Stop umming. <laughs> Which two letters make the abbreviation for the word ounce? Good thing um wasn't there. <laughs> he definitely would have picked it. Which of these is not an NFL football team? Oh my god. The Packers is one. The Patriots is one. The Pirates or the Panthers? Oh my god, they both sound possible. I'm gonna go with Pirates. Although I kind of hope there's an NFL team out there with peg legs just running down the pitch. <laughs> yes, Pirates. Go Pirates. See the oldest city in the US is in which state? I phone a friend. Let's call your friend. Uh, call Pablo. What? Oh, I get to pick. My wife. No, she'll just get angry at me. <laughs> my aunt, maybe? Just don't waste the whole 30 seconds of the call going, um... <laughs> oh, George, I really hope that I'm going to be able to help you. Stop talking. Just give me the answer. Really one of your areas of expertise. Stop making small talk. Just ask the question. If I remember correctly, 
The right answer is B. Okay, good. You didn't sound super confident on that, but I'm going to go with you. That's the first one I said as well. Like, I immediately followed it up by saying every other letter, but I said this one first. Oh, no. <sighs> She's disowned from the family, and I hate her. I knew it wasn't Virginia as well. She just pushed me into it. She pressured me. It's going to take me about a decade to get that Harry Potter back if I keep just getting 40 points. According to the proverb, it's impossible to make what out of a... So what? Out of an ear? A leather wallet out of a, a, silk, a silk purse, I guess? That That is an awful question. I've never heard of that. Oh, I, I heard of that. I got it right. I say that all the time, actually. How many community cards are dealt in Texas? Uh, five. Texas Holden Poker is way better than Tennessee Holden Poker, by the way. Who became U.S. president on the resignation of Richard Nixon? General Ford. That's 100%. If you just ask me specifically about presidents in U.S. history, then I might be okay. <laughs> That's like the only thing I actually know about the U.S. In the fall of 2010, which musical night described modern songwriters is pretty awful. It doesn't really sound like something Ringo or Elton John would say. Uh, Paul McCartney? I mean, he's a songwriter. Uh, I need help. <laughs> I'd like to phone a friend. Of course. Oh, Nora's not there or whatever her name was. I'm gonna go with my colleague, Ava. We're going to do our best. <laughs> <laughs> the voice acting in this game is horrible. Why can I not get a voice acting job? I would have done this. I'd try B. I was thinking B as well, because he's a songwriter and it just doesn't sound like something Elton John would say. Final? I hope it's not the final. I hope we get more. Oh no. Elton John, you bastard. How can you make beautiful music like your song and then say something like that? <laughs> These are all usually kind of easy ones. Like, they're, they're pretty gimme questions, so I'm just kind of skipping through them. See, I'm blasting through these now. What is the name of the special room or building in which cows are milk parlor? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 get a friend in, even though they literally never help me. You know what, audience, you tell me. Where do you milk your cows? Sorry if that's a private question. Okay, they're going with me. I'm happy with that. Yes, okay, good. Okay, I wasn't 100% on that one. I'm playing it safe because I just want to try and beat my record. I want to get to 32,000 if I can. Then I could build that milking parlor I've been so keen on. Which of these American sports heroes was known as the Sultan of Swat? Sultan of Swat? What does that even mean? What's this? What? What is this lifeline? Wait, what have I done? Switch the question right now. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, it was Babe Ruth. Which is an American golfer? Okay, this one should be good. Nope, don't know any of them. <laughs> These don't sound like names. Tom Glider kind of sounds like a name. Tom Frisbee. If, if it's Tom Frisbee, I'm rage quitting the game forever. I noticed your hesitation. Tom Kite! <laughs> you should have listened to that voice. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, president question. I know what I'm talking about. Sarah Palin was never the vice president. Pearl Harbor. Oh, no. Um, It was on West Coast, wasn't it? So it can't be Florida. I want to say Hawaii since that's the closest... To Japan, that's the or that's my guess. I never actually thought about it. That is yes, I thought about it a lot before actually, and I I knew it was that. Phew. Whom did John F. Kennedy succeed as president? Yes, he. Um, hold on. <laughs> uh, no, Lyndon B. Johnson took over from him, right? Um, I should have said nothing about presidents. Um, give me a 50-50. Oh, hold on, it was Dwight D. Eisenhower, wasn't it? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, because Lyndon B. Johnson took over after him. I'm like 99% sure on this one. 97. 92. <laughs> it's, it's going down, but I'm no, I'm pretty sure. Yes! Just ask me questions about presidents, please. Keep going. Oh no, let's go back to presidents. A whip. It's a whip. Yeah, it, it's a whip. Come on. These are really raunchy answers, by the way. Well, I thought it was gimp, but since that's not there, I'm gonna go with whip. I know it's right. Keep going. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Wow. I'm so good at gaming. How many stars are there on the national flag of Australia? Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, I need the audience's help. It's not that many, is it? Yeah, at four is looking good. I'm scared of phoning a friend, by the way. I'm running out of lifelines, but I'm terrified of phoning a friend. One, because they keep screwing me over, and two, I just hate phone calls. Unfortunately. <laughs> I wanted to win. Why do the audience and phone a friend thing screw you over so bad? <laughs> like, they didn't get one right, did they? I, look, how am I supposed to become a millionaire? If I keep getting sabotaged. <laughs> Look, even though this game is horrible, this was so fun. <laughs> but yeah, I had a blast. I'm not quite a millionaire, but you know what? The real treasure was the fun we had along the way. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video as well. I appreciate you watching. If you want to check out my stuff, I post every day. So be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.